Hi everyone, it's me again, Kanoe. Um, today we're doing another birthday unboxing. If you saw last time, it was my birthday recently. Uh, so I picked up a couple figures. I'm, I'm unboxing them here for the sake of content. Also, sorry if I sound a bit sick. I am. Uh, I'm trying to get these unboxings done before I get super sick. Before I'm super lethargic and I'm like, I don't want to get out of bed anymore. Uh, okay. Uh, so, today we've got a very special unboxing because I'm probably being facetious about this, but I have not seen any English reviews of this figure. Like, I've only seen Japanese reviews. I, I might be the only person in the United States who owned this. Don't fact check me on that. Do not, because I'll probably be proven wrong. Because today we are looking at the SH Figure Arts Ultraman Suit Taro from the Ultraman anime. Now, have I seen the Ultraman anime? No. Have I heard good things about the Ultraman anime? Also, no. Do I think this suit looks cool? Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna do a comparison with it today, but it led me to buy the SH Figure Arts Normal Taro. Uh, and that figure's pretty good. It's not amazing or anything, but it is pretty good. Uh, so yeah. Comes around shipper box, front is has English, Tamachi Nation's web exclusive, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ultraman Suit Taro, again, barcode again. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was released, as far as I can tell, this was released uh, at normal retail. Well, at least web retailers, because, like, they don't do, at, like, SH figure it's really anywhere at, like, basic retail, unless you're, like, Dragon Ball or Naruto. Uh, Jeebus. This thing's taped up. But, like, for some reason, for, like, your normal web retailers, so, like, BBTS, uh, which is where I got mine from, but yeah, like, BBTS, your to collectibles. It was just, like, a basic release. A bit more expensive than, say, like, the other Ultraman suits, uh, but... Yeah, it's really interesting. I, I don't really understand why. I guess it's just because the anime has a decently large presence, and, like, I guess, uh... Tsuburaya would probably want this out there, since this guy's basically the main character of Season 2, from what I've heard. So we open up the shipper box. I do like nice brand shipper boxes. And inside, it's a little squeaky, but it comes in a nice P-Bandai style box, but it's very nice. You got Bandai Namco, SH Figures, Ultraman Suit Taro, the animation. From the Ultraman anime, Tomashi Nations, here he is holding up his funny little thing, and this is what led me to buy this over the model kit. He had his funny little thing. On the side it has the SSSP logo, the Ultraman Suit Taro text again. On the side, SSSP, Ultraman Suit Taro, SH Figure Arts at the top, Ultraman Suit Taro at the bottom. The suit on the back, it's got some really nice promotional images with those extra parts for the Ultraman figure, SH Figure Arts that I do not have. Uh, as well as him using his fire effects and doing some other cool poses. So why not get him out of his package? Oh yeah, also, again, this is an English release, so it's got the sticker. This time it says Bandai Namco, because I'm pretty sure Bluefin was just bought straight out by Bandai. Uh, so it's like just Bandai Namco now, which is interesting. So we open up the box, mm, and let's slide it out. My first opening of it. Oh, those are the discs. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't have... Oh, it does come with the hands for the discs, so in theory, I could just pop those on him. I want to try that. Uh, but yeah, a uh, quick side thing. If you have the normal Ultraman, it comes with these massive discs, as well as a pair of hands for those massive discs. I was worried he wouldn't come with the hands for the massive discs, but since he does, I could probably fit him on here and be like, oh, it's silver hand mode, that means he has big discs. Uh... It comes with these big discs. This is for normal Ultraman. Uh, those are his, like, cutters. I forget the name of it. Because it comes with instructions, just in case. They are, they are fairly simple. Uh, but yeah, um, Ultraman figures can be a bit scary to unbox because of the color timer. But fuck it. Um, wait. Ah, everything's flying everywhere. Color timer. Oh no. Color timer. Oh jeez. Uh, let me, oh, fuck, ah, evil, no, how about let's, ah, everything is flying everywhere, so this is, like, stand pieces for those disc things, I think, let me actually, plunk, nope, plunk, 
There we go. This is like a stand. This comes with silver hands. These go with the discs. These are for normal Ultraman suit. The normal Ultraman suit, because Ultraman suit Taro does not have silver hands. He has red hands. Uh, but yeah, I, I could probably swap these around. Let me, let me check those hand sizes. He also comes with normal hands. They're a tad smaller. It might not work, but I'll, I'll try it out still. Um, yeah, he comes with a bunch of hands. They look, they're very nicely painted. They got the gray on the inside, red with a bit of gray on the outside. This is, this hand detailing feels nice and premium. Uh, I hope the color timer just fell in there. I'm going to move the figure to the side. It feels like You know what? No, I'm not the only person who owns it in the U.S. That's being facetious, because I saw that Dan Larson also bought it. But he didn't do an unboxing of it, so I'm the first, so ha. But it comes with, uh, this is pretty weighty, but this is a nice little hand effect piece. He also comes with a red killer timer. I need to find that. But he also comes, this is a separate, why didn't you just mold it? Oh, whatever. But yeah, he's got this, which is his henshin device. He holds it up. I could probably put that with my normal taro. And then since I can't find the color timer anywhere, it's probably somewhere on this desk. Uh, yeah, I'll find it afterwards. Um, yeah, here he is. He feels a bit tall. And a bit floppy. Uh, yeah, ah, uh, that looks nice. I gotta get this plastic out of him. Yeah, um, I don't know, this design really captured me. I don't know what it is about it, but it just looks... Maybe it's just my freaking uh, Iron Man fanboying. But oh yeah, that's dope. I love how he moves. He's a bit floppier than my usual SH figure pickup, which is interesting. I don't know why, because like, here's Evil from my previous video. Like, you can see I'm shaking them about the same. This one's way floppier. That's really interesting. I don't know why. I don't know why it's like that. Yeah, um, but yeah, I'm very much sold on the design. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm sorry if it's bad camera quality. I've got a shitty camera already, and it's just bad lighting conditions. Uh, Jeebus. But yeah, I'll find his color timer. I'll, I'll look around after this, but yeah, that's a dope suit. Uh... Yeah, he's got all the articulation. Do his shoulders... How do his shoulders... There we go. His shoulder pads move out of the way, bend. He's got... Oh, heck yeah, he's got butterflies. Um, do, 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 do. His body moves. Let's look at his neck. It, his neck's more limited because of the design of the helmet and the design of the neck, but... Yeah, he's got ball joints everywhere. You can kick forward, you can kick back, out, bend... Yeah, this dude's got everything. I'm sorry this is a bit of a bad unboxing, but he looks dope as hell. Uh, but yeah, this was this unboxing. Uh, I'll catch you guys later with some other ones. They're probably going to be more simple. Um, plus, I've got some things coming in for Christmas that I want to unbox too. Uh, that'll go with these guys, kind of, thematically. Uh, so think of this as a Christmas unboxing deluge teaser. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not going to make it too long because I need space on my phone. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.